Anthony Schmidt is 12 years old. He has been granted the gift of obsession. He is capable of a singular focus. His eye for detail boggles the mind. These gifts have come to him in the form of autism. So what autism does is you're, how the, it comes to things, the thoughts come into your mind fast. Yeah. And then their brains are all like numbers and they like numbers and even things. I think in autism there's a lot of anxiety that people experience. So they use their special interests kind of as a calming mechanism. Anthony has a special interest. It is cars. So today this is my car collection. So I have out here to out here. Oh my goodness. And then we can, and I even have still some in the windows. All kinds of cars. He wraps up his world in cars. They are in his drawers and in his closet. There are pictures of cars on the walls. There are cars on shelves, old cars and new ones, separated by era. Like this is the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s, and then the 70s or over here. His eye for detail is such that he can tell you the model and make of almost every car ever made. You see a car. I can name it. For real. What's that car? It's a Chevrolet Bel Air. What year? 1957. What's that car? It's Chevrolet Nomad, which has the same 1957, and this is the same front end. Downstairs, there's a collection of posters that he loves. 1941. Plymouth pickup. Yeah, but the 1886 Carl Benz. And he likes seeing old cars in natural settings, like this 32 Ford Coupe. Only, it's not a natural setting, is it? It's all an illusion created from this amazing boy's mind. Those pictures on the wall in his bedroom, the pictures downstairs, Anthony took those pictures. None of them are real cars. They are from his collection of models. <laughs> it happens like this. Anthony has a little workshop. He goes over the models, makes them look rusty sometimes, paints on patina. On this day, Anthony shows up at a park with a box. His mom and assistant, Ramona, follows with a toy barn. He finds a spot. Okay, here we go. He proceeds to create a scene, a barn in a field surrounded by forgotten classic automobiles. Ford Fairlane, a Porsche 356B, a Mercury Turnpike, Chevrolet Impala. He looks mm. and thinks. Mm. When the perspective is perfect, the scale spot on, he takes his pictures and the little world he's created comes roaring to life. It's truly because of the autism. It's not despite the autism, it's because of it. Ramona started sharing his pictures some time back. The reaction was overwhelming. She started a Facebook page and the followers came in droves. There's like 142,000 of them. Wow. With the help of a Kickstarter campaign, they made a book. It's beautiful and has sold a thousand copies. Look at the art that exists because of one boy's gift of obsession. Look at what Anthony has been able to create. Okay. Not long ago, a police department in New York sent Anthony this picture. It was from a crime scene. They couldn't identify the make and model of the car. I can just tell by the, by the wheels and the, the wheel style and the rear windshield the windows on the back always has that scoop and i said it's a 2007 mercury montego the crime was solved an arrest was made oh wait and this is nardo land yeah there was a place in maltby called nardo land ron nardoni the man who owns it loves the 1950s and he has created a life-sized illusion in much the same way that anthony has created miniature ones how long have you liked cars all your life Cool. We arranged for the two of them to meet. The results were magical. This is a 38 Chev. Old pickup right there. A 67. I have more vehicles than you can imagine. Oh, yeah. 
See, look at them oh, all. Oh, you have an old Buick Road Master? Yeah. About how many would you say you have? Oh, I don't know. I'd never count them, buddy. But one question in here. Which, yeah. Which one's your favorite in oh, here? Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> That'd be hard to pick, I guess. Same deal with me. I can't choose favorites. You're a good guy, buddy. I'm sure glad you came to see me. You have amazed people with your art and your knowledge. That's good. And you've shown people that a guy with autism can kick butt, right? Yeah, he can do, yes, and then you can set your mind to whatever you want. Things are not always what they seem, like a car on a gravel road, like a kid with a disability. If Anthony teaches us anything, it's that we must look closer, try to understand more that we should pay attention to nuance, and that the rough patches, the irregularities, even perceived flaws, are what make old cars, and sometimes young, obsessed, creative boys, flawless.